this is Dot Age. Dot Age is a turn-based town builder. Um, it's had a demo, like I mentioned a minute ago, but it's had a demo that's been around for a while. Um, it's been in development for almost 10 years. Uh, it's made by a single developer. And I've heard very good things about it. I've heard positive buzz, and it's one that, like, you know, it's had demos bouncing around and whatnot, but I kind of just went, you know what? I'm just not going to bother with the demo. I'll just play it when it's out. So that's what we're doing. We're playing it because it's out. Did get a key from the developers, so all that, you know, biased stuff out of the way. Um, but uh, we're going to take a look at this because, like, like was just stated in chat by still, yeah, like, uh, I've heard positive buzz about this. Has anybody here tried this? Have any of you in chat played the demo? What was your impressions? Uh, but, uh, yeah, this, this went up today. So we're going to go take a peek. So I'm going to be playing slowly and probably messing up a lot because this is my absolute 100% first time ever playing this here video game ever. Okay? Sweet. Um, Matthias, choose your elder. Let me tell you the story of how our very own village was born. I was so young back then. This is the tale, of course, uh, of a, oh, sorry, this is the tale of a curse that we were destined to face, and now, and how we overcame it through cooperation. Uh, so this is a run-based game. You remember this developer from, from Twitter? Yeah, I, I also remember Twitter. Such a long time ago that that website died, hey? It's weird how that works. Um, but yeah, this is a run-based game, so it's gonna be like, uh, you, you do a run, you die, you get you unlock stuff, you do it again, it's that kind of thing. Um, so we have several different difficulties. We got relax, easier, normal, harder, and challenge. Let's just stick to normal. I like the normal face. Why does the normal face look bored? It's like, relax is happy face, and then it's like a sad old man. Those are good icons. I like the icons so far. Let's just play normal, and I guess we'll play old man. Dot Age is a merciless game. By choosing the normal difficulty, you acknowledge that you are ready for a real challenge. Chat, are we ready for a real challenge? You know, the game may have just, like, inspired me to turn the difficulty down one. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> eh, what could go wrong? Let me tell you a story. It, before, it begins before any of you were born. Boppy Doodle Skip, thank you very much for, uh, or uh, rather, not Boppy Doodle Skip, Anonymous, thank you very much for gifting a subscription to Boppy Doodle Skip. Appreciate you. We had been traveling for days in strange lands. This is the story of how our village was born. The story of how we defeated the prophecy. It all began in a lush, secluded valley that we found after several days of traveling. How was the volume, chat room? Good volume? Low volume? Yeah, just starting, sentient. Just a few more steps, you slackers. We're almost there. My feet hurt. Oh, I was so young then. I like how he's still just an old man. I convinced some pips to follow me into the valley. This is it. This is the place I told you about. We have to stop here. You'd better not be lying about this new life, Elder. Okay, that... that very good animation. Very, very good animation. In imperpent, in, impertinent, follow my example and we will be well. Now get to work. Uh, we, we started work straight away on the construction of our village. I think this is the first time I'm telling you this story, isn't it? Is this the tutorial? You better pay attention because we're not going to repeat this twice. You can always click this button to skip the tutorial. 
I think I'm going to need to move my camera in a minute. So I'll do that when I need to. The village is in the secluded faraway valley. The WAS to pan the use WAS to pan the edges of the screen or hold right click to move. Yep. Okay. I was the elder of the new village. And uh, let me tell you what I did to make it thrive. The Boviak was our first structure. It defined the boundaries of our village, where we could safely build and pla place it in any available terrain. Okay, so this, this is like your, your town center, I guess. Well, I don't know what I need, so I'm assuming something like this. Uh, pips used to live in dwellings like this one. However, hover over the dwelling and you will see that it is already full of pips. It's got four. Four of four. Cool. Pips, yes, my fellow villagers. I used to tell them what to do every day. Hmm. I remember the first time I sent a pip to get food. To assign a pip to a building or structure or plant, click on it. Pips followed my wise, my wise advice without question. The pip is now working. And you can click on the tile again to remove pips. Oh, okay. No pips. Pips. Got it. Pips worked twice to produce resources daily. However, hover over a building to see what uh, it produces on top of the right corner. So I guess it takes... It produces, like, berries, I, I assume? We found a few bushes full of berries, enough to last us for the first few days. Bushes have a limited use. Uh, on the number of the top left shows how many they have left. Okay, so they got five days use left and four total. Got it. Got it, got it. Biwak? Really? All right. Learn something every day. We collected resources. Uh, uh, we, we collected the resources we produced each day in a common pool in the village. I guess these are my resources popping up up here, and I have a feeling this is going to be where I need to move my camera because uh, each pip ate once per once one piece of food every day. That doesn't fit. Available food is automatically allocated. Okay, pretty simple. Uh, I made sure each pip was assigned to their daily task and see how many working pips there are in the village and how many are idle. Busy. Available. Pips that cannot work. Got it. French, French loan words do be like that? Interesting. Well, I mean, you gotta you gotta learn something something somewhere. I thought a bivouac was from, like, uh, army ants. I, I, apparently not. Uh, also recorded in the current day and the end season the, and the current progress and turns. Do not worry about the time passing too quickly. I once was once I was satisfied with the daily tasks, we got right to work and pressed the turn uh, by clicking on the sun. Yeah, the way this game has been pitched to me is like a turn-based town building board game. That's the way it's been pitched to me. So, so far it seems like that. Hold on. There was more. I remember it now. I can recall what happened. In my old age, I tended to get a little forgetful. As I tell you our story. Old memories will resurface. So watch out for these epiphanies. That's just, that's what his voice sound like, sounds like. It's going to sound like that forever. Pips can now build structures. Every pip has the ability to build a building. Once you have chosen a building, you can place it anywhere in the village. An unoccupied pip will go there to build it, and it will take a few days. Building menu is, is divided into sections. Click on the services section. I realize my camera's covering this, but also chat, are you on my face? Ch chat's on my face. That's this this won't do. Whew. Terrifying. 
The building menu is divided into sections. Uh, click on the services section. Da, da, da. We need a tinker's post to help the pips come up with new ideas. Ah, research. I understand how this works. I've played a city builder once. Each structure had a different cost to build. This one took a day and a few wood resources. I really like the writing in this game. Like, this is one of the most entertaining tutorials I've ever seen. Uh, buildings were used by pips to produce this. One, to produce. Buildings were used by pips to produce. This one produced one knowledge per day. They also had a special requirements. Uh, the post could not be placed immediately next to another building. Thinking pips needed science. So it has to be placed nearby nothing. Interesting. Carefully divided, uh, decided where the place, where to place the post. Uh, place it if a pip is free, it will be assigned to the building. Remember to assign a pip before passing your turn. It took only one day to build. However, the building, uh, hover over the building to see how many turns are left. One, okay. Took you two hours to go through the demo? Gotcha. I'm assuming the demo is just like the tutorial, right? Plus some. Do you want to know how I made my decisions? Well, I have collected my wisdom in my Agepedia. You know, I respect the word Agepedia, but it sounds like some sort of like old age disease that you'd like contract you know it's like i come down with a real bad case the hp and it's like it itches so bad um anyway access it by clicking here got it some buildings can take different inputs and produce different resources as well when this happens you can use the action button to rotate the available production using this action button Buildings in the village that do not meet requirements will be abandoned by pips and cannot be used again until the requirements are met. For example, uh, the Tinker's Post does not want any buildings near it. Is that any buildings? Hmm. I might need to move my harvester thingy. Yeah, I'm sorry, someone has to. If not me, then whom? The this act the dismantling buildings the size of blah, 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 blah. okay that that's pretty clear. Memory received research. I'm actually like probably gonna start speeding up this tutorial because it's actually pretty self-explanatory. Pips in these lands and okay where's the button for it? That's all I really need to know. Okay so does this stop working now because I placed that there? I guess so. Some pips focused on uh, harvesting knowledge uh, that we could use to discover new buildings. Okay so you I guess need to get to deconstruct. I'm gonna break you down. And let's go to food. Place you up there. Game. I don't wanna follow the tutorial at this exact moment. Click on the research button to see what we can do. But like, I don't want to. I want to. Each building required the production of a certain amount of knowledge to be discovered. Okay, well, I think I'm going to skip the tutorial. I think we can figure it out from here. I got it, game. It's okay. We'll figure it out. I'm sure. So you're getting deconstructed. And you up here. So signposts increase the distance that I can build. I'm going to place a signpost down here. And everybody's done. So let's move forward a turn. Everybody gets their foods. Everybody goes to beds. Worst case, we end up having fun. Yep. And chat, if you've played this, feel free to yell at me if I'm fucking up horribly. So I need to remove something from, or somebody from something. So I'm gonna remove you from there and bring you down here instead. You can build that. 
I'm also going to take you off of this. And... Are there any restrictions for cabins? Large is the buildable area for the village. Oh, interesting. Okay. Let's just plop you up here. And that takes two turns to build. I got one research point. I need four for this. Okay. Ah! Pips can now make new babies. Excellent. There's something about a very happy old man sprite saying Pips can now make babies, which is... <laughs> kind of hysterical. Ah, the power of a dwelling! Enough empty space, Pip Pips can make a baby. And they should. If we want the village to thrive, send two Pips with some extra food to that building. Yeah, that's how it works. And they'll spend the next night together and make a new baby. I have several questions. Um, any two free pips will do no matter what they look like. Pips can be very fertile. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's a animation. Hungry pips. Uh, if you don't have enough food to feed all of your pips each day, they become hungry. Well, hungry a pip will also increase sickness in the village every day. Okay. Huh. I'm, assu it, it, I'm assuming it means I need to click on that, but you know what? We're just not going to worry about that right now. Let's just get them to keep doing this stuff. Got one person available. Send you up there. Just end the turn. Is this Act Razor? Well, there's no tower defense, so not really. It's a, t it's a turn based town builder. Is what this is. So I wouldn't quite say it's Act Razor. I mean, Act Razor was like a like a platformer with a town builder that was also like another thing. Like Act Razor was a lot of things. Still not entirely sure how the whole procreation thing works. Cause I thought I needed to do use the houses for that, but got yeah, three of four on that. Yep. So, prophecy? I can't see what my prophecy is just yet. Herm. Hmm. Working on a crude well. Send somebody up there to work on that. That's not what I was asking. I need to go backwards in the tutorial a little bit, actually. There you go. Send two peeps with some extra food to that building. But how do I do that? I had two pips free and plenty of extra food. I'll figure it out. I discovered a crude well. All right, so it looks like I'll be able to farm soon. Some terrains may have special properties that can affect the output of buildings. Building can take advantage of that terrain. It is built on top of it. And this will output in increase its output. Output its increase. Okay. I can make a crude well now. Heals burning. Cool. I like it when things heal burning. That's what happens when they make too many babies. You stop doing that and go up there. And you're cutting wood. So we're getting two wood and currently minus two wood. So that's everything. Uh, looks like I've learned how to, how to grow tomatoes and a herb picker and medical herbs. I just, 
We're going to start working on tilled soil. So tomato field gives me crops, tilled soil. Let's go with tomato field first. It's kind of ironic that it's just like, I, I can't figure out how to make them make kids. <laughs> Interesting. It's the sending food part that I haven't figured out just yet. I was like, you can right click and you can left click. Oh, okay, I see. It's not like a normal building. You, you have to, you have to do the right click. I get it. Okay, so let's grab you, and you, and do that. <laughs> they grab flowers. That's adorable. Um, I'll take you off of that. Well, actually, no. We'll keep you up there. Uh, I don't need you doing that. Let's keep you doing research, and move forward. Children, when a child is born, it becomes an adult after a few day. Few day. Not few days. Few day. Um, after a few day. Children are not strong or disciplined enough to work, so they just play around the house all day. Remember to feed them, too, as they eat just like adults. Often more than adults. All right, well, that's using my food supply. Fortunately, I can put mom and dad back to work. Um, the apocalyptic vision. I remember it vividly. Our village is cursed. Many events with unpredictable consequences can occur. I like just giant hole appears. Uh, when you press the turn between each day to the next, events can be anything. A shift in the winds, a creation of a new bond, the symptoms of a new disease, or just the usual earthquake. Most events have negative effects, and so pray you are lucky. Okay. I really hope aliens come down and, like, take us away. <laughs> Uh, these visions come came to me, and I saw the future. The world is doomed. The apocalypse is coming. Ah, I see how it is. We're a cult. Got it. Right? Grab your cult friends. Cultists, because we're a cult. You brought us here to die? <laughs> Don't be stupid. We're here for a reason. We can stop this. Let me tell you about my prophecy. According to what I saw, we will enter many events in the near future. And a doom events await at the end. We must prepare for it. Huh. <laughs> it's just like, it's got like writing and calendar, 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 calendar. Suddenly just like upside down pyramid in the sky with an eyeball on it, plus one. I get a hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. You said we'd find a new life here. Disrespectful fool. Are you calling me a liar? Hard work and the dooms can be defeated. This is what I saw. And now that you all know about the prophecy, we need to work hard and to survive. I see. We have been cursed. An omen is coming for us. Something bad is going to happen. Fear domain. Cool. The fear looms. Uh, in difficult times, the howling of the wind and the harshness of life can quickly drive a pip mad. The fear domain feeds on that inner struggles of the societal tensions of your pips. When its threat is high, the pips will commit atro atrocious acts controlled by their fears. Uh, place buildings that make your pips happy and entertained to combat fear events. Pips can also find happiness in positive social relationships, including pets. <laughs> yeah. Um, an omen may appear within the prophecy. Nothing, uh, can be done about an omen event. Uh, about the, about an omen, the event will arrive and make it and make things worse, uh, just as predicted. Omens will increase the threat of the domain that they are associated with, making subsequent events stronger. 
It is the way. It is just the way it is. Omen event uh, arrives in four days. You cannot influence the outcome. The event level is equal to the domain's threat. Okay, so you go there, which means I'm getting plus four food, which means I'm still losing food. Huh, okay. Um, I think I'm just going to put a sign up here. Because that'll give me a bunch more of these bushes that I can go to. Um, I'm going to take you off of here and put you there. So can I click on the chickens? What is even happening over there? Yeah, let's send you up there. So I'm assuming next turn I'll get another set of hands. But at least we're gaining food now. Everybody gets their food. Turn ends. Yeah, I can see why people like this game. I I, I really can see why people like this game. Uh, I've now acquired a tomato field. And uh, we've received the multiple researches. Planting. Plants work a little differently than buildings. Once they are planted, the pip by a pip, they will grow on their own until they are ripe. When, that's, that is not true. You have to water them and trim them and prune them and give them, like, stuff. <laughs> um... When a plant is ready to be harvested, they can send pips to collect the fruit. However, they uh, will run out after a few uses and need to be replanted. All right. Takes one worker to do that. Well, you know what? I think I'm just going to get those done next turn, and uh, well, I do have one. Oh, I see. Kiddo's big enough that they can go do that now. All right. Although we're going to take you off this, actually, and put you on water. Water duty! We've got that already. So we've got a crude well. Assuming this just allows me to uh, get more water. Yeah, this gets one water. This gives me two water. I see. Uh, herb picker requires woods within one terrain. And it only works in autumn. Interesting. Uh, in resources. Okay, so that just gives me more resources. Let's do this. Oh, I see. Um, okay. <laughs> Cabin, uh, Bivik. We got the village hall. We've got a chicken pen. Holds three chicken. Attracts wild animals. Let's go for the hunting tent. Ah, one of my kids ran out at night and uh, developed coward. Dew is stunned for three days. Fear threat increases permanently by one. Uh, Dew gained the coward quirk. Consequences, nothing. All right. Sometimes you just got to go out at night and scream at the forest. After an, evip, pip, an event, a pip may be affected by an ailment. Uh, you will notice that they are behaving strangely. An icon over their head will help you identify the ailment. Them being on fire definitely sounds like an ailment. 
Fortunately, the person who gained it is the child who can't do anything right now. Uh, when awake, the each domain accumulates its associated resource called paper. Oh, power, not paper. Power. For each uh, example, the fear domain will generate fear, and that fear will cause bad events. Some buildings can help you influence uh, upcoming events, and they can be produced such uh, resources against the power of a domain. I mean, currently our fear is pretty low, so I'm not too worried. Can I choose what you're producing? Change production. Ooh, so I can make you produce berries. I can make you produce seeds. Let's do that. Produce me seeds, shrubbery. Um, you go up here. You're researching still. And I can, oh shit, dismantling shrubs uh, give seeds. Cool. Research completed. Hunting tent. Terrains can contain wild animals that can be hunted by certain pips. Working in specific buildings, pimps, pips hunt these animals to produce output of resources. Every three days, the animal population is replenished, and one, uh, and by one, by one, and this happens even if there are no animals left. However, during the winter, animals are not replenished at all. So the question is, can I hunt chickens? Because that appears to be all that we have. Let's see. Can we hunt chickens? I can hunt chickens. Wait, interesting. Can I only... Huh, hold on. Uh, barbecue. We've discovered Texas, clearly. Hunter's Lodge. New job is discovered. Okay. Chicken pen. Bonfire. This produces hope. Plus one water if within one water. Okay. I love the fact, I love the concept of a campfire healing wet with wood. I also really like the fear icon. It's a very good upset like, square. Let me heal you. I, I like that your brain went exactly to where mine did. It's like, campfire. Heals wetness. By bonk? Let me whack the wet out of you. Don't take that out of context. Alright, so we're working on this hunter's lodge. Oh, man, animal. I don't know, dude. Drink some tea, try and get some more sleep. I see an unknown event is coming upon us. The vision is confusing, but there is hope we can fight it. I hope we all die a horrible, awful, no good, very bad death. The village can only handle a certain amount of resources as logistics become quite difficult. With too many resources, with, uh, with with the elder will keep track of your resources, but any resources gained over the cap will be lost and forgotten. You can increase the resource limit by upgrading your town center with other special buildings. I gather that means I have too many resources. An uh, unknown event may appear uh, within the prophecy. The events associated with it can be bad, blah, blah, blah. blah. Increase the protection against the power domain. Okay. Okay, so currently it's a 67% chance something bad will happen. I love these odds. Unknown event arrives in five days. I can influence the outcome. I will need four more hope to get to 100. New resource discovered. We truly are a cult, chat. Let's see, what is the... Uh, 
That's kind of cool. Click on it. It says where your resources are coming from. That's neat. I have discovered a meeting point. Which is the next thing I need to build. Which I think will work us in the correct direction. Gives plus one to happy. It's more effective if a dwelling? Plus one if, if within one of a dwelling. Alright, so I will place... Now, if I have two dwellings, does I get plus two? Does I get? I can word. I'll plop you there regardless. That requires two wood. So something negative happens. Uh, sometimes Pips will ask a question and we must use all our wisdom to decide what is best for the village. By that I mean ignore them because Pips are annoying. Thankfully, you can think carefully before our decisions will have consequences. Each choice has several consequences. Each consequence may optionally have a chance of being selected. Chat's uh, in a very scoldy mood. He throws uh, curse icons at them. And um, we gain four hope. We are now slightly less screwed. Uh, we, we, we fixed the situation and uh, we cursed at people and um, the village gains four hope and um, I... I think somebody may have gained hate. <laughs> but we get consequences in four days, so that that's fine. Uh, sometimes Pips will find new resources in the surrounding village. Uh, what they are for may not be clear at first, but keep researching new buildings and you will find the use for the resources you find. Oh no, you are unable to defend against a bad event, and the result was terrible. Well, it happens to the best of us. Just don't despair, these setbacks are only temporary. So try to fix the mess and recover. However, if you fail too many events, do not be afraid to simply abandon the village. This can be a harsh world, and sometimes starting over with the knowledge you have gained can be the best decision. This might be the smartest piece of tutorialization this game has given the player, because there's so many people that will just, like, cry themselves to sleep trying to keep, like, saving a base in a game like this. Whereas in reality, it's like, yeah, just... Fuck it, next. <laughs> this is often the best choice of action. Yeah, solid stars. Uh, if events are left unchecked, they may have consequences. New, previously unforeseen events may appear and be added to the prophecy. A good event can block the chain. Oh no, not block chain. Don't, don't ever put that. This is pretty chill. I like this game. This is this is this is something I could play quite a bit of, I think. I don't know how much I'll stream of it. But it is something that I could play quite a bit of. I, I see why there's so much positive buzz around this game. It's kinda like playing a, a town builder board game that is very, very enthusiastic about making you lose. <laughs> um the village loses to hemp. Polba has gained the criminal perk. And, uh, they've gained the trait crime. The heat domain feeds on the rising temperatures throughout the village. During hot seasons, it is fast and fickle and reckless. It can spread flames anywhere and make sure you keep it at bay. Uh, heat changes with the seasons and the weather it will be replaced by the cold domain during autumn. I also I prefer the, the cold chat. What's your favorite domain? I like the cold domain personally. Uh, occasionally, an event will change the current season. Season affects heat and cold domains. Uh, when autumn arrives, cold becomes dangerous, and vice versa. Heat becomes your main concern when the spring arrives. Be careful, as seasons can affect the production of buildings, especially those that produce food. 
All right, so focus on food. Got it. <laughs> Thanks, game, for giving me the warning. Okay, so th I understand now why I want to make puddles. Because uh, here in the research tree, there is... Puddle, which produces cold. Um, there's also bonfire, which, guess what? Produces not cold. Um... So, I think... It's going to end the turn. Let's see what happens. We'll distribute people a little bit better tomorrow because fear is minimum. So, are you down here? Um, so I should have two open people. You go up to that one. It's a funny little brain teaser. I like this. Interesting game. Oh, I got one pip available for it. Crap. Um, you can stay up there. Uh, let's just send you down here for food collection purposes. Sounds like a screaming goat. Having heard screaming goats before, it's a terrifying sound. What happened to my tomato there? Did I cancel them by mistake? Oh no, they've been planted, I see. All right, things seem pretty chill currently, so I think... Okay, gonna get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Send you up to the hunt the chicken spot. Which means that these are both going to explode. We get some seeds. So tilled soil is now something that we've researched. Special category of tasks are different from buildings. Instead of building something, they are cha they change the terrain. Yep. Season event incoming. Whoa, okay. We have researched a puddle. I feel like this is a personal attack against my personality. <laughs> Congratulations, sir. You've researched a puddle. Well, thank you. I'm going to remove you from this, put you onto this, remove you from this, and let's build a puddle, um, which keeps the heat down. Question is, where is it? Ah. I have found the puddle. It's almost like there's an ocean there. You'd think we could just use that, but it's time to begin the global pud the global puddling. Chat room, it's time to look up. We have an event. Test your fate. I want to mod this game so it says test your might inst instead, but you know. The last one landed on the tiny little bit of red in the corner. This one landed on the large amount of red in the corner. Oh no! <laughs> A building is destroyed. Blah, blah, blah. I really like the negative events in this game so far. It's like someone started acting weird and is now scared for a bit. I'm sure like they get worse as the game runs on, but it's just very funny. It's like big scary event, awful things is happening, and then it's just like. Those persons, like, they stole three seeds. They they are a criminal now? All of the chickens are dead, chat room. Oh, no! Beware, a doom event is coming soon. Prepare for it. Or it may be the end of the village.
You have eight days. The end of each uh, page of the prophecy, a uh, vision of doom will appear. These events are stronger than usual, but fighting them off unlocks the next page of the prophecy. And... Uh, may even grant you something more. Doom prophecies will arrive with an increased threat, so uh, it will take all of the village's forces, resources to fight them off. All right, well, how many more days of summer do we have left? Assuming quite a few. Sending you up there. I'm currently running with everything at neutral. Pretty much like I lose no resources, so I'm just going to move forward. Everybody gets all of their things. Uh, higher level events have stronger, more powerful effects. The level of unknown events depends on the power of its domain, and it has accumulated when uh, the vision comes. The level of good events depend on protection. All right, that's I, I found. That's it, chat. I, I found my favorite sprite in the game. No, crying is an ailment to everyone. Uh, not only pips live in the village, you uh, also find animals of all kinds. Like pips, animals need food every day, so make sure you have plenty. Animals can be used as resources for various buildings. Animals live in pens and ranches. Naturally. Uh, use a lure action uh, on one of these buildings to lure an animal out of the forest. This will cost you some resources. All right, a doom event in five days. We've discovered new things that I can research. A relaxing stand. I love the idea of a relaxing stand. Yeah, so I can make an egg farm, butcher's table. Skating right, okay. Um... I'm going to research bonfires. All right, so I can now begin making barbecue. Put you here, get somebody else working on that. It's funny, I can either make barbecue or I can build a house. Let's make barbecue. Okay, how are we doing here? Um, I'm gonna remove you from this and get you to go work on, well, mm, I don't really on this house. Uh. Large bonfire. Start researching the... Let's actually start re researching the well. Let's work on the well. One pip who can work. That's great. We'll go build the house then. The next turn we get this apocalypse event. So we get to find out what that is. Exactly. It may also be, the saturation may also be because I'm not doing a good enough job with this. Test your fate. Get. Memories unlock. We survive. Um, as I continue to tell stories, more of my memories will surface each time an event occurs. You may receive a memory points. Okay. I got an unlock, I guess? Uh, we now have boons. Domains will grant your village some power. A doom event was averted, and this is a huge impact on the village. We just got a really good dice roll. 
uh, which can take some of the domain's strength. We may choose a boon. Boons can slightly change the nature of our village, so be sure to choose wisely. Uh, wait, I remember that after that Doom event was averted, the village was different. Territory uh, expands one tile more. The village gains 30 knowledge. Crops uh, allow two more activations before depleting. I like this one. So I gain a bunch of research. We witnessed sudden appearance of funny vial that then was thrown into my research. And then everybody sang a happy song. Jack, can we get a round of beer for uh, success? We got a surge of knowledge. And then um, everybody goes to their homes and sleeps. We fought the doom brought upon us, but I sense that this is not the end. I see it now! A new and stronger challenges are coming! The prophecy is clearer than in my mind. Let me tell you what fate has in store for us. That is it! We must survive to reach the next Doom event! Remember, this will not be the last. I love the little circle dance that they do. That's, that's awesome. This guy reminds me of somebody from like Asterix and Oblex, like this little sprite. Um, I see. We have been cursed. An omen is coming for us. Something bad is going to happen. Upgrading buildings. Uh, you can unlock buildings that are stronger versions of existing buildings, and you can build upgraded versions of these buildings on top of old ones, saving a lot of building resources. So how do I do that? Cure burning. Do I... I will never remember where what is. Ah. I really like this. I think this was a solid first impression, chat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, if you'd like to say goodbye, YouTube, now's your opportunity to do that. And uh, I think it's time for us to kind of wind down the stream for the day. I really like this game. I think this is a, I, I think the next time I play, I'd want to start from the beginning and be a little bit smarter about how I lay things out. I, I think it's really well paced. The tutorials writing is kind of awesome. Um, I think my biggest complaint is I need some way of turning the saturation down because it is actually starting to hurt my eyes. Um, but like, and I don't think that's just my monitor, my, my monitor, my monitor because chat's having the same thoughts. Um, yeah, no, this just released. Uh, it's been in development for uh, close to 10 years. A developer swung by earlier. Um, I think I, I need to put a little bit more time into this, but... If you're interested in this, try the demo, because there is a demo, and it's like 20 bucks. So, I guess like 15 US. I think Canada's 20 bucks. 